And we're off with the next hate in just a couple seconds. It looks like Archer's out there again in this one. There's a nice first wave from Ryder in red there, Chase, with a good roll, and he's looking for that second opportunity down the line, and he finds it. Nice little roll to finish it off on the inside. It can always be worth just hunting for that last opportunity. It gets quite a bit more of a score on the board when you can get the two to movers in. So it's always, always a good um, good option to push through for that, for that end section. And it, Probably paid off there for Chase. How you doing, mate? You're back from your little break. Smurf is back, and uh, just seen uh, Chase Stewart there, Cooper's little brother, um, pick off that one right through the inside. Like I see him surf some of the little uh, local reefs, and he'll just find any little section, and he'll go for like backflips with no water under it, and um, you know, very well done for getting through. Now I missed the end of that last heat, but uh, was it Hardy? Um, we had. Let I, me... I believe he got uh, the third place in that one. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's sad to see him go because he was surfing in two divisions, and he was uh, surfing really strong. But it was a tough heat that one, and unfortunately didn't make it through. Um, but thank you so much for participating in that division. And to make it through to the semi-finals is a big achievement on its own. So congratulations. It's just a nice little snappy roll from the raw, uh, rider in white just before. Yeah, it's always a good effort when you're punching upper class and you're getting through to semi-finals and so forth. Exactly, yeah. So he's he got through to the semis in the Super Groms and the Cadets, as far as I know. So let me just, yeah. The boys at the Gold Coast Bodyboard Club have been providing uh, food and drink for the judges and the commentators today. And we, I can't thank you enough for, for looking after me and for having me down here. Uh, hopefully I'm doing a satisfactory job on the commentary today. Uh, coming all the way down from the sunny coast to um, happily, I'm happy to be here. You know, I'm pretty stoked to be a part of this major event, the Future Pros event here on the east coast of Australia at the Gold Coast. Oh mate, you've been killing it and it's been greatly appreciated. Because without, you know, without people jumping in and doing things like this and committing their whole day to it, not only the whole day, you know, it's the day before getting down, um, being ready for it and all that. Yeah. It's greatly appreciated, mate. We oh, can't thank you enough. I can't thank you either, mate. Um, you, you, just having you here, let me have a few little breaks and and backing me up and keeping the motivation here is, is a massive support as well. So as I was saying before, Hardy Fletcher, he's been surfing really great in two divisions. Won his heat in the Super Groms and the Cadets and unfortunately got knocked out on uh, heat one of the semi-finals of the uh, Grommets, um, not the Super Groms, the Grommets. Um, but Archer Thoms with a top score of 11 in first position. Zay Taylor in second. Congratulations to you guys going through to the final uh, of the Grommets. And in this one, Chase Stewart. Chase Stewart, Archie Williams and Ollie Williams. So look, battling it out. They are battling it out. And in the lead is Chase Stewart. Well done to Chase Stewart. All right, so it looks like we've got the winner of the last heat, Archer. Archer coming in. I'll give you a headset over here, Archer. Jump on in, sir. Just crouch down for us. 
How are you going, mate? Pretty good. Congratulations. So I noticed you've come all the way up from Foster. Are you down Foster Way or is that where you live? North or? Haven. North Haven. So yep. thank you so much for coming up and making the effort, mate. It's obviously paid off for you because now you're in the finals. Is that correct? Yep. Well done, mate. Well done. You surfed really well on that heat. That was a tough heat, that last one. Yeah, um, for sure. Yeah, I was just saying that, um, uh, you know, Hardy, he's only 10 years old, I think. How old are you? I'm um, 13. 13. And, um, you know, you've won that heat well deserved. Like, you surfed good. You could see it in your heat how strong you were surfing out there. And the final is going to be a. It's going to be a pretty spectacular one to watch, I think, mate. Yeah, I think so. So, how, do, how are you finding it up here on the Gold Coast so far? Yeah, it's nice. It is. It's a bit not... busier than home, so. Definitely, yeah. A bit different, but. Yeah, I, I do like the, the less crowds, and um, it's good being able to have events like this where there's only four of you in the water, so. Yeah, so what sort of um, boards are you riding at the moment, Archer? Um, Science Pro TS. Oh, yep, yep. yep. Um, Johnny and Sarah from D5 always help me with my boards and Science Body Woods help me as well. So. Oh, thank you so much for that. I see a lot of Johnny on the socials. Um, yeah. He's a great person to watch and you can see that he does a lot for the Groms and the industry himself. So big shout out to Johnny um, Crookshank. Uh, here we go, Ryder in red. Oh, Ooh. under the lip. That was beautiful. Chase Stewart. Little spin. He's, uh, he's owning this heat at the moment. Um, so here we are with Archer, how do we pronounce your surname? Toms. Tom, it's Toms, yep. Okay, so Archer Toms, the winner of the semi-final heat number one. Congratulations, mate. Zay Taylor in second place, but Archer coming all the way up from New South Wales and competing in this Future Pros event here on the Gold Coast. Congratulations, mate, on Thank your you. win. And we look forward to seeing you in the final. Yep. Yep. Good job, buddy. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Cheers, mate. Thanks, Archer. There he is. Uh, what a what an amazing competitor and um, and a great kid. Thirteen years old. Like look at them go. Like they've got a, such a bright bright uh, future ahead of them. Already uh, getting the support of the next generation from Johnny and that um, down at D5 and and Science Bodyboards. Uh, well done, Archer. Um, I'm I'm so glad that you came up for this event. It was it was really good to watch you in that heat and very challenging conditions. Now that we got a little bit of glimpse of sun coming out for this heat, and uh, it's been pretty good to watch this one as well. Um, with Chase Stewart, uh, he is the younger brother of Cooper Stewart, which is last year's winner of this event, and Archie Williams in second position, and Ollie Williams in third position. They're all putting in a pretty solid effort here. With what have we got on the board? Of two. Oh, he's just popped the second score on the board. But um, everyone's got two waves in except for Ollie so far. And what have we got? 12 minutes left on the board. So there's still plenty of time for everyone. Yeah, it's good to see that weather's died off a little bit again. And the sun's coming out for us and that wind's kind of backed off slightly. It's interesting to see as this tide comes up, as it starts coming in on the inner bank. Start, got a few, few bit of variety in the waves today. And we got Chase still taking out that first position. It's gonna be quite, quite a tough one to catch up to with that 8.67. And here he is with a nice rollo. Pushes through for that second section, gets a 360.
just under 10 minutes remaining and Chase Stewart still out in the lead with a strong lead with a total score of 14.84. Archie Williams in second and Ollie Williams in third. Some great surfing and bodyboarding going on in this heat. Chase Stewart still out in front, Archie in second, and uh, his brother Ollie Williams in the white. So only two of the competitors are gonna make it through on these heats, through to the final. So it's going to be interesting between the two brothers who's going to, one of them, unless they can get chased down the bottom end. Oh, Ryder and White with a nice section and a clean roll landing in the flats. That was Ollie. And nice. here we go, his brother Archie on one as well. Oh! Nice roll though. Yo, yeah, he's claiming it. He's claimed, he's claimed it. Um, it would be a close one, that one. I think, through my eyes, Ollie's roll looked a little bit more crucial. Uh, uh, that was a hard one to call because that one in we we'll watch on the replay that there was a decent projection on Ollie's. Yep. Then that one in behind was really fast. He got a lot more speed, didn't he? He was gunning down the line, probably a better looking wave. Yeah, a bit more, a bit more height on it, but yeah, he's claimed it. He, he thinks he's won already. <laughs> <laughs> they they deserve it. They all deserve the, uh, you know, they all deserve a bit of. Uh, um, a bit of notification, a bit of, uh, here we go, right on red with a little spin. Oh, there's no, nothing wrong with giving yourself some, some self-motivation when you complete something that you're impressed with yourself. Absolutely, it's challenging out there and to, to for the, you know, these guys, we're still in the Super Groms, still in the Gromits division and uh, for them to complete a manoeuvre and land it, they deserve all the congratulations they can get. Yeah, especially when they're pitching off the lip mm. and landing it out nicely. So if you're just tuning in, here we are at Chugan Beach, uh, South East Queensland on the Gold Coast, Australia. And we are in semi-final number two of the Future Pros event presented by Inverted Bodyboarding and sponsored by Convict Bodyboarding Australia. We're starting to get to the tail end of the day now. We've only got a couple of hours left. We are. We're down to the business end where the best competitors, here we go, Ryder in blue with a little reverse, holding onto it, through to the inside, and a roll. Great combo. It was. Archie Williams is currently in second position. Oh, Ryder in white. Through the oh, lip. Oh, nice. Wow. These, these brothers are putting in the effort so they can both be in the final. They are. They, uh, I mean, Chase has got an 8.67. It's going to be a hard score to beat. He's still got two of the high-scoring waves, but we're noticing these Williams brothers really turning it on at the tail end of this heat with just over five minutes remaining. Um, this has just been spectacular to watch. You know, these guys are only 13 years old or younger uh, in the Gromits division in the semi-final. Here's the replay. A bit of a hand switch into a reverse. Oh, Red with a big roll. I only caught the tail end of that. And a reverse as well. He's held onto it. He's coming through. Wow, look at him go. Oh, and another reverse. There's three manoeuvres on one wave. And another roll at the end. 
Oh. In for that inside section. He's going to be hard to beat, Chase. He's uh, so much stamina competing in two divisions. He's taking a lot of notice on how the wave's pushing through and creating a small chory on the inside. And when you can link that up after doing a couple of the movers out the back, it really, really pays off on the scoreboard. I think so too. Obviously, you want that one initial big manoeuvre because they're scoring, but if you can ride them right through and link up multiple manoeuvres, I think he nearly had four manoeuvres on that wave. Uh, surely the judges will notice and um, score him accordingly. Yeah, yeah got, you've got to do something. Once you've already done your big move, you have to really push something through to stand out for the rest, to get the scores above. But, um, nice roll from Blue down the line, just at the end of the competition area. As we could hear Tapper saying before, there's going to be some um, talk over the dinner table tonight between Ollie Williams and Archer, Archie Williams. That's a pretty close close call. I think that was Archie on that one with a nice it's, roll. There's been a switch around too. Ollie's jumped up and put um put Archie in the third place. So see how it's super close. Like uh, I only just see the score there. It's pretty glary, but it is a little bit glary. That sun's oh, there. You are. Ah, there's my serviette I was looking for before. I've got uh, uh food through my Papa Smurf beard. <laughs> Uh, save it for later. So the yeah the Williams boys are from Foster, and Archie placed third in the Future Pros last year in the Gromits division. Then Ollie, Australian national third place this year in the Gromits division as well. Well, it's going to be interesting to see. It's coming down to the wire here with two and a, two, just a bit over two and a half minutes left. Still super tight scores, and it could be either one of their game. Absolutely. Chase still out in the front with some big scores with an 8.67 and a 7.5. With a big brother like Cooper Stewart, last, last year's Future Pros winner, um, he's definitely stepping up to the game. And uh, I think even his older brother might have to watch out for him in the future, I think. Yeah, is it, even that, um, that wave he got just before really pumped it for his second backup score and put it up for a 7.5. 7 indeed, so. indeed it did. He's, uh, you know, all the way through multiple manoeuvres. So our next one in the water, are we in? I can't see with the glare, but I think we might have another... Super Groms. That is a tough one to read. Yeah. I think this might be the last Super Groms heat. Yeah, this is the last Super Groms heat, and then we will go into the junior semi final, which will be even more spectacular to watch. This is where the big guns come out. Are you sure we haven't got one more Super Groms? Okay. Um, we'll have to check back in on that one. Yeah, no, well, we've got Chase Stewart out in the water now and, and the Ollie and the Williams brothers. Here we go. Right down the beach, there's Chase again. Chasing down the line for another inside section. Oh! Very nice roll. He just gets so much speed and finds the section really well. He's got very good timing for for it. You know, he's only a young fella. One, about 40 seconds left now. Holly has put the upset in with the Williams brothers at the moment. Yep, yep. Holly's currently in the lead and uh, Archie. Can't quite see from the glare, but he needs, uh, I think, a 6.21 to jump in and make it through to the final. That looks like seven seconds remaining. And congratulations to Chase Stewart dominating that heat. Brother of Cooper 